what's up everyone here to do my review of the breaker new waves chapter 127 and man uh, it was actually a pretty good chapter even though a lot didn't happen we had a lot of story progression and um we can finally move on with a couple things but uh there's some really bad news i'm sure if you've read the chapter you know that there will be a one month break they say one month but um from what i read it says september 17th or 18th so uh that's about a month and a half break man <laughs> i was so disappointed when i saw that just because it's finally getting good and as i said before it was just it, in my opinion it just feels so slow at points and times but um either way sometimes i think breaks are good i don't know maybe he has personal issues he is a human being so i'm not too mad but uh i'll let you know guys know what i thought about the chapter so the chapter can actually be broken down into three main points um Elder Kwan and the ghostly doctor or Sang Seek just having some interesting dialogue. Um, we get not a lot of history about Elder Kwan, but Sang Seek says some things that definitely were brought to my attention. Um, next, we have Shi Woon, Jenny, and the other elders. Um, well, the other elders actually explaining to Jenny that he can't <laughs> break out of this thousand needle. Or he'll either be paralyzed or he may die. So nobody can touch the needles. And right after that, Elder Kwan and Sang Si come back to the area where Shi Won and all the clan versus the government people are fighting. And that's pretty much the chapter. But I'll get into what exactly I thought about these parts. So um, Sang Si pretty much in the beginning calls Elder Kwan out in a way and tells him that uh, before you sold your clan to the Alliance just to save them, you won't pretty much, he's telling him to let go of this boy and show me your true colors and it offends Kwan and he attacks him but Sang Si backs away and Elder Kwan gets pretty mad and he tells him that since he lost his past Gaju, um, he's never uh forsaken his ways or regretted anything and what he's doing now i guess he means why he doesn't regret it and he will get she wound back and sang si kind of drops a, a little bit of a bomb just because we were told before that he couldn't break out of it but we weren't told to what extent he couldn't break out of it and he tells him uh well kwan this isn't a negotiation even if you kill me or think you can uh, get away with him, nobody can take out those needles. It's impossible besides the person who throws him in there. And that transitions over to Jenny and the uh, elders telling Jenny that uh, if you would have touched it, he could die or be paralyzed. And the reason is, like I said just a second ago, only the person who throws them in can remove them. And... After that, Elder Kwan comes back to with Sang Seek and um, Sang Seek asks him, are you see now? Because Elder Kwan actually um, comes to the Gaju or Shi Woon and says, Shi Woon, show us your true will. If you say that he talked a second ago, or Jenny claims that he talked and Sang Seek says that's impossible. And he says, is that true? And she tells him it is. And if you can talk, show us your will of what you want to happen right now. Give us your decision, Gaju. So Elder Kwan says, oh, man, like I said, <laughs> Sang Seek calls him senile. And right after that, Sang Seek is like, are you? And he goes, no. And she Woon finally, finally, for what it seems like years, <laughs> takes these needles out. And he says, I have not lost yet. And everyone's pretty shocked. And that's the chapter. So, yeah, about the hiatus, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, but to make quality content, these authors need breaks. And they do have personal lives. So, I'm not really mad about it. 
so I'll probably figure something else out to review or cover. But um, thanks for watching my video, and that's my review.